haven't seen it yet, so I don't know. Maybe it's not worth being around the clock, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it is. Heather Leduc, I'm the art curator at the Department of Tourism and Culture. Yukon Seasons is significant not only for its artistic virtuosity, but also because of the space it fills in the hearts of those who visit it here. The Honorable Elaine Taylor, Minister of Tourism and Culture. So it was about two years ago, uh, Shane Wilson donated this remarkable piece of artwork to the Yukon Permanent Art Collection through Friends of the Gallery. Sadly, however, the sculpture was removed from the uh, Game Centre in September of 2007. It made uh, actually national and international news, not to mention just here in the Yukon. When the sculpture was returned, it was in relatively stable condition. A fragment had come off, staining uh, as well as some surface damage. I very much believe that the story of its theft and its recovery in itself even heightens even more awareness and even more attention to this wonderful piece of artwork. While we all know displaying artwork as valuable as this has inherent risks, we also have to balance this with making art possible. I thank you very much to the RCMP, to the City of Whitehorse, uh, to Mayor Buckway. We do have events in our town that are not the most pleasant events, but here's another example of where the community has come together with various orders of government and, and hard work by a lot of people, and we have this wonderful sculpture back in the, in the Canada Game Centre where, where we really feel it belongs. To Shane Wilson, congratulations. I just wanted to say thank you to folks. The reason why I donated this piece in the first place was to commemorate the excellent work of Ruth McCullough, who worked in the arts branch for many years, su supporting and developing uh, the visual arts in the Yukon. It's time to unveil the sculpture. I cannot express my gratitude to Valerie Monaghan and uh, the arts branch and others who were involved in this, as far as I can tell. I mean, it looks almost as good as new, maybe even better than new. You know, I, I can see a bit of the traces of where there was some discoloration, and, but the only reason I know that they're there is because uh, I saw it when it was in its pre-restoration state. She did a fabulous job. And what does it mean to have it back now on display and, and for the White Horse Yukon and, and the world to see? Absolutely thrilled that it's back, as I'd hoped and intended when, when it was donated.